Coronavirus is a family of viruses that cause infection, respiratory tract infections, and these infections could be mild or severe. There are different members of this family, there are so many of them. Usually they live in animals, but sometimes they escape from animals into humans and cause infection in humans. While in the animals they don't cause any infection, but when in humans they cause infections. For instance, we had the SARS virus, which uh, caused a pandemic in much earlier, 2003-2004. We had the, the MERS virus, coronavirus also. So this particular one that is in vogue now is the new coronavirus which was reported in Wuhan in China in 2019, late 2019. So from foods, eating raw um, animal and touching the fluids, anything contaminated with the animal can also spread. And as we see right now, that this particular virus is spreading really fast. Um, it means that uh, aside from even eating or touching, aerosols also could carry the virus. That is when someone sneezes or coughs, you know, it can get into the air and infect anyone that is close by. One can get infected even without going to China. And usually it's if you are in close contact with someone who has been infected. Someone who has been infected that is probably with the symptoms, sneezing, coughing, usually fever is also there. Fever is very common, symptoms to many, many other diseases. But um, we are in close contact with someone who is sneezing, the droplets, if one inhales it, it the, an individual can get infected. Or if you touch secretions or fluids from the body of someone who is infected, uh, such an individual can also be infected. Or if you eat or you handle an infected animal, you can also be infected. They are still investigating which animal it is. Some have said it could be snake, some think it could be rats, some think it could be bats, but all of this investigation is still going on. Studies are going on to really confirm which of these animals. The mortality rate is quite lower when compared with the other SARS and the MERS, but uh, we, can't, we don't have the information yet. Studies are still going on. There's a lot of study trying to understand this virus and some of these characteristics. So how long it takes from getting infected and uh, coming down with symptoms or dying also has to do with the immune system. It depends on the individual's immune system. Those who have died so far probably other had some other underlying problems, such that their bodies were not able to fight the infection, because many, many more have been infected without dying. So the symptoms of coronavirus, the new coronavirus infection, are majorly fever and the cough, difficulty in breathing is a respiratory tract infection. Now I want to encourage individuals to imbibe practice personal hygiene. Usually there's this saying that uh, uh, cleanliness is next to godliness and in so doing we keep ourselves safe from many many of these diseases that are all around. Okay, so just practice personal hygiene, hand washing, very, very essential. And then when we cough, we try to cover our mouth, not with our palms, maybe with our elbows, you know, this way. And then also when we sneeze, same thing. And if you think your hand is contaminated, you don't have to shake someone. You really don't really have to shake all the time. If 
your hands are contaminated. I want to encourage that all the international routes, they have the screening done. And then also uh, labs already are being set up with kids ready to screen any suspected case. And usually I also know they are already also quarantining people who have symptoms until they are screened negative before they release. And so I think at that level, the government is already on the right track. So we also need to protect ourselves so that we stay healthy.